Welcome back to Stooks. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about um, a legend, um, professional football Hall of Famer, um, college football Hall of Famer. Um, a legend. He's uh, well known and by most uh, football collectors. But I'm going to talk about his other career. Um, this is uh, who we're going to talk about, Bronco Nagurski, and we'll be talking about his professional wrestling career. Bronco began wrestling in 1933, and he was active until 1960. And he was wrestling during and after his pro football career. I've got a few pieces of memorabilia, some programs, um, some items I'd like to share with you. Here's something that I really like. The 1941 Heavyweight Wrestling Championship ticket. And you see it's been ripped in half and used. It's really cool because across the ticket in red, it shows referee will be Jack Dempsey, former heavyweight boxing champion. And after his boxing career, Jack Dempsey did referee and special events, um, wrestling matches. He was a big name, big drawback in those days. And this is 1941. Bronco wrestled for the heavyweight championship and he lost this match. But I just think it's so cool having a ticket from 1941 with Bronco Nagurski's name on it and Jack Dempsey's name on it. The next item I want to show you is a Pro wrestling program. This is from 1948. And it has a picture of Bronco on the back. Bronco in his old number three football uniform. And here's another, here's a 1950 program. This is Bronco is going to wrestle against Dirty Dick Reigns, 1950. Here's an example of the card for the event. And you can see Bronco is the main event. If you look at the back, there's also some other famous pro wrestlers. You can see Gorgeous George, Leo Namalini, who is also an NFL Hall of Famer. The next program also has uh, Bronco's name on the cover, and this is also from 1950. And he's going to be wrestling Vladimir Kowalski. That's that big guy right there. And here's a, another program where Bronco is going to be the referee. King Kong Cassie against... Dirty Dick Reigns. I just love looking through these programs. Some great pictures. There's Leo Namalini again in his football action photo. And here's a picture of Jack Dempsey. Making a fist for Wally Carbo, the wrestling wrestling producer. Here's another one, 1950. There's Bronco in action against Luthez. They wrestled several times for the championship.
at this at this time. Fez was the champion, and um, Nagurski lost the match. And here's December 1950 when Nagurski returns against O'Toole, showing Nagurski driving. It was the Lou Thez into the ropes. I also have a 1955 Parkhurst Bronco Nagurski wrestling card. And these are in French and English on the back. I really like this card. You can see the heads of the people in the background. Spotlight on Bronco Nagurski. It's fun, fun items. Here's the last program I have of Bronco 1957. It's going to be the Atomic Blondes versus Bronco Nagurski and Vern Gagne. And that's the main event. Anytime Bronco wrestled, it seemed like he was the main event. And I also have certified autograph of Nagurski on an index card. But Minnesota, he's a legend. They say when he went was recruited by the University of Minnesota, um, Minnesota coach Spears was up in the International Falls area looking at someone else for a football scholarship, and he saw Nagurski up working in the field with a plow. And they said that when they asked Nagurski where to find this other recruit, he lift the plow out of the ground and pointed with it. So take that for with a grain of salt. But thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a great day.